right. So and, oh, we, and hold off on a hold off on a comment. All right, we're well, I mean, it, it shouldn't be too oh. long, dude. We should be only on here. Honestly, guys, we should be on here for like 10, 15 minutes, unless you guys are talking up a storm and telling us your life stories. So it shouldn't be anything crazy. <laughs> All right. So yeah. Uh, so we're good. Down with that. Just, yeah, just, make, just, just make sure for Mother's Day. Just make sure for Mother's Day that Gito gets a win because. All right, we're live. We're live right now, Angelo. And the Angelo right. Walsh uh, Solis Show. We're here live. Uh, we're putting that up there, Nilo. Yeah. Three, two, one. Three, yeah. two, one. Well, it's already gone. To uh, welcome show. to the special edition of Fight Card, uh, Fight Card Live, guys. We're here on Sunday, three o'clock. I know it's been a long it. time. We've had a lot of uh, technical problems this morning, uh, or this afternoon. Sorry, um, but we are here with uh, upcoming fighters uh, for Fight Card 52, um, and as well as some uh, some other dilemmas that we've had on the card. But um, we have up and coming fighters Joe Maloney. We have uh, up and coming fighters Rachel Rivera. Up and coming fighter uh, uh, Sylvia Re uh, Reyes, sorry, Sylvia Reyes, um, and then uh, of course Angela Walsh and uh, and uh, George Vargas on the on the call somewhere in there, right, Nilo? Yeah. Um, you guys don't know me, don't remember who I am. I'm Brian Angelo. Nilo's on the side over there as well, too, guys. And we're gonna be talking with these guys um, just about their upcoming card and about. Um, of course, like, all oh, we bet we live. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I, I definitely want to. Yeah, great, Nilo. My my battery on my phone is now dying. Thank you for that. But um, I definitely want to say uh, thank you to to all of you guys who are on here tonight to, uh, today. Uh, obviously, just go ahead and take some time off your day to go ahead and be here with us. Um, but uh, let's go ahead and start off with a, with a little bit of the up and comers, um, especially with the females. I, we've been gone for two and a half years, guys. And with us being on for two and a half years, um, a lot has changed. Obviously, the faces have changed a little too. But I, I'll tell you like this, a lot, we've had an influx of female fighters. Um, and obviously, Rachel and, and Sylvia, you guys are, are both fighting on this upcoming card as well too. And, um, you know, uh, just your guys' thoughts on, like, how much women have changed up the game for um, just combat sports in general, like for Thai kickboxing and then also for MMA. Um, what do you what do you think, uh, Sylvia? What, what what's your thoughts on how women have kind of changed up and how things have uh, have kind of changed on up going forward into the MMA scene? I'll wait. Don't worry. I just want to know. Still? Yeah, I can barely hear you. Sorry. So so the question is about women in MMA and and where you think it was now and how how it's progressed. No. No, no, nothing. Still nothing. Rachel, can you hear me? I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Rachel, Rachel what do you think about women in MMA? And I how think, it's progressed? Um, I think it's progressed a lot, especially with uh, Ronda Rousey and Holly Holm kind of like blazing the trail. I feel like they've uh, they've kind of motivated me, especially Holly Holm. She's uh, I really like the way she performed, but then um, as myself, I've been doing Taekwondo since I was nine. Um, Muay Thai, I started doing it again like six months ago, um, but um, I wanted to compete, and I've been training and training, but um, it's it's been proving a lot. I've been seeing a lot of more, a lot more fighters, a lot more tough women in and out of the gym, too, so... Um, I'm really excited um, to see not just myself perform, but other female fighters. So I wish everyone good luck, especially the women. Um, there's not a lot of us, but um, especially you know. the women. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'll be very surprised on just how much we've had a uh, a huge response from the female fighters. Um, Sil Sylvia, can you hear me now or no? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Okay, great. So, so you've been training in the martial arts for how long? And then, again, for you, up and coming as a female, who who did you kind of kind of look up to uh, as as growing up in the martial arts and obviously being where you're at now and taking your very first fight with Fight Card Entertainment on May? What the fuck, man? Um, who I look up to? Yeah, who do you, who was your mentors coming up? Um, you know, and, and getting you where you want to be, and where you're at now, and um, taking your very first fight. Who you were like, man, um, that's who I want to be like. I want to actually Ronda, Ronda Rousey, because um, you know, girls weren't actually in MMA at the time, so it's like 
after I seen it fight, and I was just like, wow, I can get back into it. Like, you know, now it's the time for women to, fuck, to step up now. Very cool. And you've been training in the martial arts since how old? Since I was eight. Since you were eight years old? Would you guys yeah. think, I mean, I'll tell you like this, know. anyone else on the, on the panel right now, out of the five of you guys, any of you guys um, started when you were that young? I started and, when I was nine. Nine. Angelo, how old were you when you started uh, training? Or how long ago? Angelo? What's that? Uh, I, um, I didn't start training until toys we fought in that Okay. Was it that was our fun? Stage. Yeah. My first fight was unfair. Who were taller, bigger, strong, faster, older? It didn't matter. So I'm not one of these guys who wants wife or girlfriend guys who is afraid of fighting all my life. Hey, uh, from well, well, numerous Joe? bad places. Yes. From oh, good sorry. places to bad. Joe, how old were you when you started up? I started with uh, boxing, uh, 12 years old. 12 years old. Gotcha. And then, uh, is George on, on the call yet or no? Is George here? I can hear you guys. George, about how long have you been training for? I want to say about six years now. About six years. So, I mean, would you say, Sylvia and, 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 uh, um, and Rachel, that women, like that. females especially, usually tend to go and start off at a younger age, at a very young age? He's yes. Yeah. Who the fuck is he gonna train at? McDonald's. He's been training at McDonald's. Yeah. Can you guys hear this fine or no? I, I'm not hearing any responses. I can hear everything. Sylvia and, and Rachel, can you hear us? Yeah, but it's kind of breaking yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Shadi. Um. All right. Sounds good. All right. Well, uh, going forward uh, with Joe, let's go ahead and talk with Joe a little bit. Joe, you started off when you were 12 years old in boxing. Um, you fought what uh, competition at 12 years old, and and uh, what, take me through a path of from when you were at 12 years old in boxing and how you got into where you're at now. I started my first fight was 14 years old. I won 12 and 0. I did Golden Gloves, won Golden. That's Gloves. awesome. I went to nationals in Arkansas. Took first in boxing. Took first in a tournament in Arkansas. And then I went to Kansas for the ringside boxing, and I took third. Gotcha. And then, so, and then, how old were you when you're finished up on? Pretty, are you still boxing, or are you more no, or less? I switched over to Muay Thai. I got gotcha. over 32 boxing fights. Gotcha. Damn. Damn. And then, where, wow. where, uh, where, where do you think you see yourself now with kickboxing, and the difference between your boxing, what you've done in boxing, and what you plan on doing with kickboxing? Uh, actually. My plan is boxing. Boxing to me is uh, I use my boxing to set up my kicks. So I like having that background. Gotcha. Do you, do you tend one style over the other? Do you like kickboxing more than boxing? Boxing more than kickboxing? I like Muay Thai, yeah. I like Muay, Muay Thai, Thai, but uh, I turn the Muay Thai fight into a boxing fight. I don't throw any kicks. I mean, you're a man of different traits as well, too, going with boxing and then now going the, uh, into Muay Thai. Um, do you see yourself in the future possibly doing MMA? Uh, no. I hate no. wrestling. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, at least he's honest, man. Yeah, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. At least we know where, at least we know where to look for you there, Joe. That's great. Exactly. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and uh, we're going to get back to you guys as well, too, because I do want to go and talk to you guys about um, your fights, but let's go ahead and talk over with George and Angelo. <laughs> we'll get to this right now, so we can. So I'm sure that you guys got things to go ahead and do. Um, so let me set this up really quick. So just be, so everyone knows what's going on here. Um, Angelo started off with, and I'm gonna break yes, a bunch please. of like the fourth wall. I'm gonna break the fourth wall a couple times here. Angelo started up with top notch. Um, started training underneath Mac. George was training underneath Herc under with Second City MMA. Um, 
and then, uh, and correct me if I'm wrong, guys, and then Angelo, you left Mac and Top Notch, went over to Second City MMA. Both of you guys were training together, you and George. And then yeah, George, we were. Yeah, we that? did it for a little while. For a little while. And then yeah, George so. left out of uh, Second City MMA and then went over to Mac at Top Notch. That's how that all worked out, correct? Yeah. Yeah, there was, yeah, there was nothing like... Crazy going Any on. Any reason just... why you left? So, yeah. Yeah, Ange, well, let's go with you first. Ange, Ange can you hear me? Yeah. Uh, any reason why so... you, why did you leave uh, yeah, Top Notch so... to begin with? Well, I mean, you got to look at it this way. If you take four or five fights with a team and you do not win, okay, either you're not learning yeah, enough or there's, uh, there's some things that aren't working for you. So Agreed. why the fuck Agreed. would I stay with the gym? Who, who's not who's not teaching me to win? I'm not just fighting to be fucking selling tickets for promoters. I'm trying to like take this a little bit farther than that. So when when you come to terms of being a smart fighter, you're like, if it's been four or five fights, I haven't learned an armbar. If I haven't learned tri triangle defense, and if I haven't learned you know certain escapes or positions for using my weight, I don't need to be here. So and then when I left, I was training by Sinatra. Sinatra went on to had a great uh, amateur career, won a bell for AP. He just made his pro debut yesterday, lost for his PD to top notch. Now, no bad blood between top notch. I like to care nah, that they didn't teach me what I needed to succeed. So when I met Herc, he broke down the basic, simple, learn and grow. And since. Hey, Angelo, you're going in and out, bro. I fought undefeated in Indiana, and I'm okay. And hold on, hold on, Judah, hold on. Dude. I can't really I hear nothing. You know? And before we get to that, Angel, that you're going I in and out. Four people who are coming into this, you know, way before st the sanction things were going on. Now, Tony Richards uh, and Ant Antonio Sanchez were three guys I beat. We're all now professionals. So, so for people who don't know their homework and they just talk all this crazy shit, like Gito, I'm like, dude, you're not even in my same. In class, and I don't have a problem with you, but bro, you don't know fighting. You know what I'm saying? And so, so you should be able to whip me, right? So, when, so, when we, so, so when we fight, you're gonna beat me, then, right? You guarantee that, right? Of course, That's you're, what you're saying, right? Scrub, Gino, you've never okay, I, I, I hope so. I hope so. I'm gonna beat your ass just like I did you? in the gym when we trained. How are you? I whipped beating? you in the gym, but my girl knocked you out. Come on, man. What happened? Keep it real. Keep it real. She knocked you out in training. No, not me. My girl knocked you out. Your girl knocked me out. Hold on, and 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 uh, and uh, and George. You're so lame, dude. You're such a stunner, man. You're a stunner. I'm gonna beat the shit out of you so bad. And and George, I'm still quiet. Gino, you never want to fight, bro. You're fucking. Bro, you're the one that backed out. You know you backed out. Your girl. I didn't back out. I'm getting an MRI tomorrow, motherfucker. I'll come yeah, to yeah, you. Yeah, right now. You're scared. You're all oh, yeah, okay. Bitch. I'll give a fuck. No, you ain't, dude. No, you ain't. 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 No, Hey guys, this is off of the camera. 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 This little guy's lame. And hey, you got my phone number? Call me and we can meet up. <laughs> You're a fucking bitch, you know? This is You're so bad. funny. You're out of shit. I can't, I can't wait to beat you. Wish. This is a make a wish fight. I can't wait to Dude, beat this guy. I warmed you up for one of your fights, and you got beat by a fucking scrub who you were supposed to beat because you couldn't <laughs> do the proper technique to get out of full mount. You panic, you suck, you have no hands, you do Okay, Don't so you're going to prove it. So what do you do, Gino? What do you do? You're like electrician, bro. Hang that shit up, bro. Oh, my God, I can't wait to fight you. Fuck I you can't me, wait. Bro. Okay, so then, so, then, so, so when we fight, you're going to show me all the skills, ass. just like Sergio will beat you. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so I lost everybody on that last Dude. one, I'm not, and I'm not going to ask anybody to repeat anything. But um, let me let me let me let you know this. Hey. Let me know this. Hold on, Ange. Hold on, Ange. Hold on, Ange. Hold on. Got to talk right now as well too. But this fight was supposed to be set on up for May 18th. It's gonna take. It's supposed to take place at Fight Card 52. Yes. At this point right now, Angelo is injured because of the last fight that he was just on. Shoulder is injured and so well too. So he'll be out of play for this fight coming on up. And yeah, George is asking. All right, tomorrow. Right. I was no wins. I've never in my career ever backed out from a 
fight. And you can ask Matt because that's your fucking coach. So, <laughs> George, so George and even. Hey, you gotta let the man talk around with, dude. Bro, I'm gonna whoop your ass so bad it's gonna be funny. So let me go, let me do this. Ange, Ange, hold on. Ange, I'm gonna give you, Ange, I'm gonna give you a chance out. Hey guys, he's got, he's got liquor balls right now. He ain't gonna let you talk, Brian. He's got liquor balls. I'll let you, I'll let you talk in a minute, Ange. Hold on. So George, for you, yes. I mean, how did you feel again? Like I said, with Angel taking that fight, taking that fight three weeks prior before he was supposed, you were supposed to face him. I thought it was a stupid mistake because if you have a fight three weeks before, you know, why, why would you take another fight knowing that you got another fight already scheduled, you know? You should have just took the fight with me, got your ass scared, whooped, and then fought. Because I'm not scared, Gito. Okay, not scared, like, I, I, you, hey, for all y'all that don't know, I months. called and asked for the fight. Who called and asked for the fight, Mr. Angelo? Who asked for the fight? You did. Thank you, I thank did. you. I asked I you because I know I can you. beat your you ass. Yeah, then, then, then show it. That's all you got. You got to prove it. Prove it. So, so this oh, fight, so, so considering Gito, this fight is going to take won, place won, won one fight, bro. And considering so this fight is going to take place on on May 18th, um, George is asking, will you go ahead and face him on the next Fight Card Entertainment card? Man, listen, I'll tell you just like this. Just like Gito, I got a fucking career, I got a job, okay? So for me to run around in an amateur-ass ring and pay good money for a mother who's fat and out of shape, to risk injury more than it is is stupid. Like, I don't got shit to prove to Gito. He's a bitch. I'll beat him any day. Yeah. Once I get my then fight me. And then fight me. What the fuck I need to do for my health? We can fight. Gito. Okay, that's good. That's good. Then. So, you know you're saying yes, right? so you're saying yes, right? Yeah, I'll fight you, okay, any, good. Day. I'll fight you any day, Gito. Good. That's all I want to know. So when we go in the cage and I beat you, you're going to admit that you're a pussy and a bitch and I whooped your ass, right? Why would I be scared if I'm you? Uh, and, uh, okay, Mr. so, Mr. Well, Tough Guy, you know, and, just, and George, hold on, let me, let me take it back to these guys a little too, to Rachel and, and, uh, to Sylvia and Joe. Yeah, go ahead, let the ladies talk. So, so, uh, Ray, uh, Syl, Syl, are you still with us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Syl, what do you expect for May 18th coming on out for your, uh, your fight card debut and your MMA debut? What do you think that, uh, the fans, uh, fight card fans can expect from you on that night? Um, what do they expect? Yeah. Um, the, they're, that I'm really uh, prepared. Like, I don't give up so easily. I fight guys all the time, and I give them their money's worth. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay. Rach, what, what are you thinking for uh, May 18? I mean, I know, uh, same thing for you, Rachel. You were supposed to fight um, in an in a co- uh, event on May 14th. fight ended up canceling for you. And then, luckily, Fight Car Entertainment, uh, we had a show that was four days later, and you can continue your training and then go ahead and step into the, uh, the cage then, right? Right. Right. Um, no, I've been training um, very hard, intensive, like at least four to six hours, five times a week. Um, I go to the gym, conditioning, training, strength training, everything. And then I go to my school with Stegen, and he teaches me technical, and we go in the ring and we spar and I've been working so hard I've been eating right I've been doing everything I can I don't give up easily as well um, there are only guys in my gym so there's <laughs> so I'm, yeah. I'm not going to let them step all over me and they know that right. but I, I'm excited I can't wait yeah. I can't wait I'm very excited I'm, yeah and, and Rachel, Rachel's facing off with Elsa um, uh, Garcia in uh, on May 18th, and then Sylvia, you're facing against Nicole Brown, and we'll we'll talk about that as well yeah. too a little bit later on of how Nicole came from um, your gym before. Did you know her back in the day or not really? Actually, no, I didn't because I stopped at a certain age because I was in high school, so okay. I was in Live. there, and then um, the they called me to come back so I could help her train, help her train, oh. and I was. So I was like, okay. Oh, shit. So then wow. I eventually came back. I eventually oh, came back, and then um, she wasn't there anymore. So I was like, oh, whatever. I didn't really know her like that. Um, but um, our gym talks uh, about her. Yeah, like she, she yeah. used to come here, and then I found out I was fighting her. So then I told everybody at the gym, and then they're just like, oh, yeah, that's cool. I can't wait. Pretty interesting fight. Pretty interesting fight. We're, and that's what we're all about, guys, well, too, with Fight Card Entertainment and, and knowing how it works for it. We're always looking for fights that make sense for everybody, and, and you'll see that as well, too, in the show as well. Um, Joe, are you still there, Joe? Yes. So, so Joe, where, where are you at? Which, who are you training underneath right now? Right now, uh, I'm training 
with Marzano and uh, okay. Eddie Lopez nice. with Chepe. Okay, cool. And uh, and how's that? Uh, I mean, difference in training wise for a boxing match and coming for kickbox uh, for uh, a Muay Thai match. What's what difference in training? Is it a little different? Are you training differently for this fight? I mean, I know you, you're you're an undefeated fighter. You fought all different places as well too. But coming for Fight Card Entertainment and, and coming in for this fight, are you taking a different approach for it? Yeah, I actually switched my camp over to more of a Dutch Dutch style uh -huh. of kickboxing. Mhm. Mm so, I mean, uh, but, and you're fighting against uh, Stephen Winston, um, and he, he comes from a pretty reputable, really good camp as well, veteran camp. Um, and, uh, and and comes with good good instruction. Um, so so I mean, are you doing anything different for this upcoming matchup? Yeah, just uh, the game plan. Marzano's and uh, Eddie Lopez, they're all helping me out with the game plan. Well, I'm not going to go in there and brawl with them. I want to move around, get them tired. Ange and uh, George, you guys are, I don't want to say, the, you're the more experienced fighters of this crew that, that's here, several too. You've been around for a long time. You've been around when, when we were, were still around. We were gone for two and a half years. Um, I mean, like, when you heard that we were gone and then now that we've come on back, what were your thoughts and, and you know, in doing a Fight Card Entertainment show? Angela, you go first. There was, two, there was two award winners for Fight of the Night and Co-Fight of the Night. Do you remember who that was? <laughs> I, just, just wonder. I do remember who it was. It was a hell of a fight, too, brother. It was yeah, it was. It was. It was. It was Chepe for the first one. It was me for the second. And uh, um, I'm not saying that to like Bruce to to rub my ego anymore. But I'm saying that to let you don't know that, bro. You gotta understand. What, you gotta understand one thing about fighting, bro. Like you don't you don't have the heart. I've seen you quit a lot of times. Okay, so then so then when we get in the cage, you show me, yeah. dude. And when I beat you, then we'll see. You know, I just, I just, you know, you can talk all that over the camera. I see you face to face all the time. I was in your gym like a boss, and you didn't say shit to me. Like, like a, a boss. boss, homie. Like a boss. Like you a boss, homie. Friend, you were trying to be friendly to me, motherfucker. Oh, what get the fuck about? out of here, Are you, man. He's you stunned. Oh smile. my god. Like a so you didn't you didn't try to smile at me and say what's like up a to boss. Me. You did. You're lame, dude. You're so lame. <laughs> you were George, like a boss. You mean you went well, like hold on, hold on, the Andrew. You don't let me talk or what? Go this ahead. lame dude won't even let me talk because he's so... Uh, talk. talk oh, more. George, what yes. were your thoughts? Your thoughts of when, uh, you know, again, we were gone two and a half well, years ago. I heard you were coming back. on, and um, I never fought on Fight Card. I just saw it. That's what got me started into MMA, and I, like, I, like Angelo said, I saw him fight on there and a bunch of other fighters fight on there, and that's when I started fighting. He was already fighting, you know, so, yeah, he's saying what's true, but... um. I wanted to get on there, and then I, you asked me who I wanted to fight, and I said, I think it would be good if I fought Angelo. That would be a good fight. He likes to stand up and bang. I like to stand up and bang. I think it's going to be an exciting I fight, honestly. I, I, th I think me and him are going to tear it up in there. I honestly, agree. I'm being honest. Honestly. You know what I mean? We can hype it up all yeah. we want, but, I, like, there was never a beef. Honestly, there was never a beef, you know? <laughs> you know? I'm too grown for that. There was never a beef. I just felt we just, we, you know, we, just, we, we You know, I guess he felt disrespected because, I, you know, I said I wanted to no, fight him. No, hey, man. No, it's not that, you know. The shit your girl did on Facebook was, was real childish and cowardish. You guys are parents. You guys got kids to raise. Hey, bro, so, but did I say you, anything? Hey, but, but did I? Hey, you, you kind of fed into it, bro. Yeah, and, and I uh, almost did. Okay, we both did. We both did. Yeah, but uh, we can go on and on. We go on. We go on and on about this guys right now. That fight's not gonna take place. I'm excited to see yeah. that fight, Ange. I, I am too. To I am too. I am too. So you know, I'll, I'll, I will. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. So, so we'll, we'll definitely, we definitely want to go ahead and work it on. I will hopefully see both of you guys on your best behavior. Like outside the cage on the 18th. That. I can't promise that. I can't. Uh, we'll, we'll we'll see you guys there as Get well the too. For the rest of you guys, fighters as well too. Do you guys have anything closing statements, Rachel, uh, Sil, or Joe? Do you guys have anything else you want to go ahead and say? Good luck. I'll hey, good luck to you guys. Hey, everybody. You're, hey, Joe, you're a beast. Good luck, everyone. You're gonna get fight of the night. Uh, hey Joe, Joe, Joe you're Joe's a beast. gonna knock Joe's nice. gonna knock out Stephen Vo because he never conditions and he's fucking nice. always overweight. <laughs> and uh, Gito's fighting Joel. I hate to say it, Gito, but that's not gonna be your night, buddy. Oh my right, God, we'll, I'm gonna we'll, we'll see, your night, buddy. We'll see you guys again. Like I said, thanks for coming on out, guys, and we'll see you guys the next time. We'll, we'll see always you on May 18. All right, thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you <laughs>